Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be doing a water or I guess liquid simulation into a glass in Blender 4.0. So the idea here is I'm going to show you step by step how to do a liquid simulation like this and how to cache it out. We'll be modeling everything from scratch. And if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial on this, I did make an older tutorial where it went a lot slower and a lot more detail. This one is going to be a little bit quicker today because I'm doing this in Blender 4.0 and that's kind of the reason I'm remaking this, just to do it in Blender 4.0 as there were a few slight changes to the previous tutorial I did. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I wouldn't say it's 100% beginner friendly, um, but if you're kind of intermediate, you'll probably enjoy this tutorial. So let's jump in and make a cool looking liquid simulation in Blender 4.0. So jumping into Blender, I'm using Blender 4.0. I'm gonna select the default objects and press delete. Then let's simply go Shift A and under our mesh options, we're gonna add in a cylinder. Let's go into our front orthographic view, tab into edit mode and let's go G, Z and move it up and just place it on the floor. And then let's select these bottom verts and go S to scale them like so. Let's just grab this top bit here and go G, Z, move it up just a bit and then E to extrude up like so. And let's go X and delete these faces. And let's just go select this bottom face here and go Control B or Command B to create a bevel. Roll the middle mouse button a few times just to add in some segments. And then let's select this bit here and go E to extrude S to scale, G, Z, move it up, E to extrude S to scale. And I might just grab some of these edges here and just dissolve them. It might be just a bit too much, but just something like that. And then we're gonna come, press A to select everything. E to extrude, right click, and then go Alt S, and just scale out along the normals, like so, just give it some thickness. And then let's just select this bottom face now. Go Control Plus to go to selection a few times, just so we have all the bottom faces selected. And then in our front view, we're just gonna go G, Z, and move it up like so. S to scale a little bit, just to add like kind of the bottom thickness of the glass, like so. And then let's tab out. Let's go to our modifiers, add modifier. Let's search and get a sub, get a subdivision surface. Let's right click and go shade smooth. And also just make sure to save as you're working. So now we have our glass. Let's go tab into edit mode. We wanna make the collision object. So let's actually just enable this um, cage on over here. And let's just select the inside part like this by going control plus. Shift D to duplicate, right click and let's go P and separate that selection. And let's go into object mode again. Now select this new selection. Let's get rid of the subdiv modifier. Tab into edit mode and press A to select everything. Alt S and just scale out along the normals a bit. And then E to extrude, right click and go Alt S and make a nice thick domain like so. Press A to select everything, go Alt N and just also recalculate the outside just to make sure the normals are correct. Tab back out and then select the inside and do the same thing. Alt N, recalculate outside. And now we have a collision domain which we don't want to see in the renders. So let's just go to our object properties. Let's go to viewport display and under the display as, let's make it wire. And let's turn it off for the render. In fact, with this object selected, let's press M. New collection, let's just call this collider and go OK. And now what we're gonna do is we go Shift A, let's just add in a plane, S to scale, like so. And let's go Shift A, let's just add in a UV sphere. G, Z, bring it up, S to scale. Then go Control A and apply the scale. And this is gonna be where our water's gonna be flowing from. So let's actually now go and let's grab our glass. Let's go over to our physics. Let's give it a fluid. Let's go to the type and make it an effector. We're also gonna select this outside bit here and go rigid and go to fluid. We're also gonna make it an effector. And you're wondering why do we have two effectors? Because sometimes um, Blender's fluid simulation will kind of go through an object that's thin like this. So having this outer domain really kind of helps, um, this outer effector really kind of helps keep it in there. So that's why we're doing that. So then we're gonna also grab our um, outflow or inflow object. We're gonna go give it a fluid. We're gonna go to the type here and make it flow. Flow type, we're gonna make it liquid. And then under the flow behavior, we're gonna make it inflow. Okay, then we're gonna go Shift A. We're gonna add in a fluid domain. So let's just add in a cube. Let's just actually go over to our object properties. In fact, 
we'll, we'll keep this as it is. Let's just go um, into our x-ray mode here. Let's just tab into edit mode and go G, Z and move it up so it's sitting on a floor. And let's go um, grab this top face and go G, Z, move it up so it's about this high. And then press A to select everything and go S, Shift, Z and just scale it out like so. Now we have a fluid domain. So now we're gonna tab back out into object mode. With this fluid domain selected, we're gonna go over to our physics. We're gonna give it a fluid. And this time we're gonna make it a domain. And this is actually gonna be our fluid simulation. So let's do a few things here. We're gonna make the domain type liquid. And once we're back in wireframe, we wanna to go to frame one and hit the space bar. And now with this domain, set to um, liquid, that's all we changed. We have the thing filling up here, the, the glass, but we wanna stop it at a certain point. So we're gonna select our inflow. Now let's go to frame one, we wanna start. With our inflow, let's just go to the use flow and click on here to add in a keyframe for the property. And let's just hit the space bar, let's run the simulation and see where we want it to go to. So I'm gonna stop at about, I think 150. So let's go to 150. Let's click on here to add a keyframe. So it's still using the flow and then we're gonna go up one frame. Then we're gonna turn off the use flow and add a keyframe. So now we've got this long hold here where it's gonna be running and then it just cuts off at 151 and our fluid simulation should stop. So let's go to frame one, hit the space bar, run that simulation and hopefully it cuts out. There we go. So now we know how full our glass is gonna be. So now all we need to do is grab our domain. We need to go over to our resolution I'm gonna set mine up to 128. Now keep in mind, that's gonna take um, be a lot more processor intensive, but the result's gonna look a lot better. So I've set my resolution to 128. It's gonna give a much better result. And let's go down to our um, cache. Wanna to go to the type and change it to all. We also wanna come here and enable mesh. And then you can select a place where you want to cache this out. I'm just going to go to my desktop and create a new folder and just call it cache. Click on it and go accept, accept. And now we have a place to cache all this out. And I'm only going to go give this 170 frames to run. And I'm also going to take my cache here and give it 170 frames. And then we're just going to click on bake all and we're going to bake this simulation. Okay, so I have decided to kind of cut it off a little bit earlier. So I've, I've cut it off at 1.35 just to save a bit of time. Um, but it, it shouldn't take that long anyway. But what we're going to do now is we're going to actually just hide that collider and turn it off here in the render. And now we have a basic kind of simulation of cup as you can see here. So from this point, if you wanted to take it and um, like render it, you could go to your render settings. You can enable cycles and make it GPU if you have a GPU. And I'd recommend going to something like 60 samples. And then you're gonna go shift A, just add in a simple camera. And a good way to render this sort of stuff is to just have the camera facing forward like this. But then you go shift A and you add in an area light and you have it coming off from the side. And you go ahead and give it a strength of something like 300. Then you go Z and you go render. Scale it up a bit. And then you're gonna select your glass. You're gonna to go to your materials, go new. And then with your principle here in Blender 4.0, what you can do is bring your roughness all the way down. And then go to your transmission and take that weight up to one. Then you can select your liquid to go new. And you can do the same thing, bring down the roughness under your transmission, bring up that weight. And then give it a color so I'm gonna go something like a orangey kind of color. And then you can go ahead and duplicate your light source around the glass, just to give it some nice looking reflections. Like so, maybe coming from the back a little bit or from the side. And then you can just duplicate your plane, move it back a little bit. And now you have kind of like a cool backdrop like this. Another thing you can do is go to your render settings, add a little bit of motion blur. And now let's drag through and get a cool looking shot. Something like this. And now let's go render and give this a test render. So render image. And there we have a basic glass with some liquid. Now by no means is this super realistic. There's a lot of things you can do to build on this. I've done some other tutorials on 
um, this sort of stuff in the past that you can check out. But I decided just today to do this again, just for a fun tutorial to do. Um, and doing it in Blender 4.0 as well. So I didn't go into as much detail as I did with one of my previous ones. Like I said in the very beginning, if you want to learn more about this, you can check out one of my older tutorials on the channel where I go with this in a lot more depth. But I'll see you guys next time and thank you for watching.